Hi, welcome to the 2020 Football Awards Banquet. Uh, due to COVID concerns this year, we're having our banquet virtually. Our 2020 Academic Award winner is Reese Mitchell. This makes him a two-time winner of this award. Uh, he won it last year as well. Reese did a tremendous job leading our team as a captain. He had 65 solo tackles, 41 assists for 106 total tackles. Um, he also had three tackles for loss and three sacks from a safety position. Um, Reese is also a nominee for the 2020 IFCA Academic All-State Team, as well as the 2020 Colts Academic All-State Team. Um, so our 2020 Academic Award winner is Reese Mitchell. Our 2020 uh, award recipient for the Sportsmanship Award is Vlad Carreras Lantigua. Vlad had a tremendous season for us. Uh, he wound up leading the nation in tackles for defensive linemen. He played through some tremendously adverse situations, and that is why he was selected as the winner of this award. Um, Vlad had, there were things that happened in the Southmont game uh, when we went up to South Central. And again, when we played Western Boone, um, some things that were said on the field, and Vlad did an amazing job um, keeping his composure and, and fighting through those difficult situations. And our coaching staff is incredibly proud of the way that he handled those situations. Vlad is also a 2020 nominee for the, for the All-State team. So our 2020 Sportsmanship Award goes to Vlad Carreras Lantigua. Our 2020 Most Outstanding Back Award this year goes to quarterback Sam Michael. Sam finished the year with over 1,400 yards of total offense. He had seven passing touchdowns and six rushing touchdowns. Sam has done a tremendous job for us uh, leading the offense in his first three years in high school, and we really look forward to seeing how he continues to grow going into his senior year. Our 2020 Most Outstanding Back Award, Sam Michael. Our 2020 Most Outstanding Offensive Lineman goes to Tyler Gooden. Tyler has anchored the offensive line for three years now, um, and this season led an offensive line that put up almost 2,000 yards rushing and almost 1,000 yards passing and 207 total points, which is the most since 2015. Uh, Teddy has played center, guard, and tackle. Um, he's all-conference and all-area, and we're very proud of all the work that Teddy has put in in his four years here. The 2020 Most Outstanding Offensive Lineman Award, Tyler Good. Our 2020 recipient for the Most Outstanding Defensive Back is Bryce McDonald. Bryce finished with 72 total tackles, was seventh in the state in interceptions, and 31st overall uh, in the nation in interceptions. Bryce is also a nominee for All State, um, and our coaching staff is very proud of the way that Bryce worked hard all season continued to grow and improve. Um, he made a big adjustment switching from wide receiver to free safety, and we're looking forward to seeing that, that growth continue going into his senior season. Our 2020 Most Outstanding Linebacker Defensive Back, Bryce McDonald. Our 2020 Most Outstanding Defensive Lineman Award goes to Ramsey Mitchell. This is the second year that he's won this award. Ramsey had 74 total tackles, nine tackles for loss, nine sacks, which was tied for 17th in the state, uh, one interception, one caused fumble, three fumble recoveries, and two defensive touchdowns this season. Ramsey was a captain for us and has had a, an outstanding three-year career uh, here at Frankfurt. Our coaching staff is incredibly proud of all the work and leadership that Ramsey has put in uh, over the last three years as a starter, and we say congratulations to our 2020 Most Outstanding Defensive Lineman, Ramsey Mitchell. Our 2020 Coach's Choice Award goes to Brenton Wood. Brenton had an exceptional year on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. He played defensive line, outside linebacker, inside linebacker, guard, tackle, and a little bit of tight end and fullback. Uh, Brenton's the kind of kid who is, is going 100 miles an hour every play, always has an, a tremendously awesome attitude, and lifts up everybody that's around him. Uh, our coaching staff is incredibly proud of the young man that Brenton is becoming and we look forward to seeing him continue that growth and progress as he entered his senior season. Our 2020 Coach's Choice Award recipient, Brenton Wood. This year, our 2020 Offensive Player of the Year goes to Riley Goodnight. Riley led the team with over 1,400 yards of total offense, 13 rushing touchdowns, 
four two-point conversions, and two receiving touchdowns. Riley also added in 13 tackles, three tackles for loss, and a quarterback sack. Uh, Riley is also a nominee for All-State. Uh, he was first team All-Conference. He's a nominee for All-Area and All-Region. Our 2020 Offensive Player of the Year, Riley Goodnight. Our 2020 Defensive Player of the Year is Gabe Chavez. Gabe ended the year with 74 solo tackles, 77 assists for 151 total tackles. That put him second in the nation and first in the state. Gabe is also an All-State nominee. He's first team All-Conference. He's an All-Area nominee and an All-Region nominee. Uh, we look forward to seeing what, G what Gabe will do uh, at the next level. Congratulations to our 2020 Defensive Player of the Year, Gabe Chavez. Our 2020 Special Teams Player of the Year is Jade Ayers. Jade finished his high school career with over 1,500 all-purpose yards. This season, he led the team with receptions with 37 for 441 yards. He led the team with kickoff returns with 14 for 330 yards. He punted for us uh, for five punts for 180 yards. He scored two touchdowns and recorded five two-point conversions. Uh, for his career, Jade also had 35 solo tackles, 23 assists, five interceptions, and 11 pass breakups. Jade has been an outstanding player uh, over his four-year career here in every facet of the game. Um, we're really proud of all that Jade has been able to accomplish. Jade is a nominee for All-State. He's a first-team All-Conference player. He's a nominee for All-Area and All-Region. Our 2020 Special Teams Player of the Year, Jade Ayers. Our 2020 Scout MVP is Keats Pippinger. Keats had an outstanding year this year, um, playing both Scout D-line and Scout O-line. Uh, he played Scout guard, center, tackle, offensive tackle, defensive tackle, sometimes even played Scout linebacker. Uh, Keats is just a guy that everybody loves being around. He's a tremendously hard worker. And uh, we really look forward to seeing how Keats continues to develop and uh, what his role will be next season. Uh, your 2020 Scout Team MVP, Keats Pippinger. Our final award, award of the night is our 2020 JV MVP, and that goes to Doug Wood. Doug had an outstanding freshman year as a quarterback. Uh, he even played a little bit of free safety at the end of the year. Um, overall, Doug did a tremendous job leading the JV team. Uh, keeping his composure and poise uh, through every football game and did an excellent job in practice giving us every look that we needed. Uh, we're really proud of the way uh, Doug played this year and we're really looking forward to seeing what the next three years hold for Doug. Our 2020 JV MVP, Doug Wood. Uh, the 2020 season was full of adversity and, and change uh, with COVID guidelines and things like that. We, we could not have been able to do everything that we did this season without the amazing help of our managers. Um, we, had th we had four managers who've been with us for all three seasons. Emily Lopez Cardenas, Eunice Meza Sierra, Gabby Navarro Cervantes, and Ellie Rodriguez. Uh, these four ladies have been here for all three years and have done just an absolutely tremendous job of help helping out in, in every way imaginable. Um, I always tell them that, that they're the real MVPs of the team um, because without, without these ladies, uh, we couldn't do the things that we do. Um, our second year manager was Braden Barker. Braden has done an outstanding job, uh, really grown into his role this year, and um, is one of the favorite among the guys. Um, it's really great to watch Braden lead the Dog Jacks every Thursday. Um, and so we're really proud of Braden. Our first year managers, Keomi Perkins, Peyton Debris, and Lizette Martinez, were wonderful additions to the, to the managers this year. They did an outstanding job helping out, and we really appreciate them for all their incredibly hard work. Our 2020 managers this year, uh, our entire staff would like to say thank you so much for all you've done. Our 2020 Varsity Letter winners. Um, our senior class consisted of Cam Swinford, Jade Ayers, Ramsey Mitchell, Daniel Martinez, Andrick Molinax, Hunter Seward, Kyle Earl, Gabe Chavez, Trevor Meeks, Tyler Gooden, Tristan Martin, Dakota Bailey, and Reese Mitchell. Those are our 2020 senior varsity letter winners. Our 2020 junior varsity letter winners include Ivan Girarte, Sam Michael, Logan Wills, Riley Goodnight, Bryce McDonald, Vladimir Carreras Lantigua, Alex Peralta, Ethan Cook, Bretton Wood, Jorge Aguilar, David Mendoza, 
Charlie Garcia, and Edwin Roman. Our 2020 sophomores earning a varsity letter this year is Jacob Burns, Wyatt Criswell, Nelson Honoro Ramirez, Keith Pippinger, and Jack Deckard. And finally, our four freshman winners who lettered as in varsity as freshmen, Doug Wood, Garrick Burge, Julio Rivero, and Keaton Myers. Uh, in closing, thank you all for joining us for this virtual uh, 2020 award ceremony. Uh, we're very proud of all of our winners and very proud of all the kids who played this season. Uh, this season was fraught with adversity, uh, difficult times, uh, CDC guidelines, COVID, all that. And this team rose above those adverse situations uh, to have one of the best seasons in the last 11 years of Frankfurt football. This is the first time in 11 years that we've had a winning regular season and the first time that we beat Northmont at Northmont. Uh, so we are incredibly proud of everyone involved uh, with the football team this year. They all did a tremendous amount of, of work. They put in a tremendous amount of effort. And we can't thank you enough for everything that you've done this season. Um, in closing, we had a great 2020 season, and we're looking forward to building onto that and having an even better 2021.